Hey everybody, I am back today with another review. Um, this time it's going to be on the new um, Sephora foundation that they have going on. It looks like this. Looks like pretty much all Sephora packaging. It's a, um, it's the Micro Smooth Foundation Face Powder, and it's a part of this whole new like micro, like this Micro Smooth collection that Sephora's got going on. They've got like um, a foundation. I believe they have a a blush. I um, they have a blush. They have a a bronzer, and I think that's actually it. Um, yeah, I think they, it's just those three things. But yes, I am going to be doing a review on the foundation. Um, this is mine. This is what it looks like. Mine's is broken because I'm so special that I broke my shit like the first day that I've ever used it. And I mean like the first time I ever used it. I dropped it on the floor and you know, most baked things, I don't know if I said that, but it's the whole collection is baked products. So this is a baked foundation. The the blush and the bronzer it's all baked and you know most baked products have that um nice dome shape to it on top my dome part just completely broke off i will show you right here it just you know looks really interesting you can kind of see where the dome was starting at and it just like completely broke off on my floor i kept it i picked that part up and put it like in a tupperware container and it's sitting on my vanity and i do still use it i'm not gonna waste it i paid for it it's mine so yes um don't judge me you you do the same thing too um yeah anyways my color is in deep or 60 however you want to say it that's what it looks like it's pretty typical of you know most sephora foundations i have another foundation from sephora I don't even know where it is anymore but it looks exactly the same okay so it cost 22 dollars um it's not very expensive Com well i guess it is kind of ex no well depending on how you see it because i mean there are some mac foundations that cost 26 dollars i think i think that's so much anyways yes it costs 22 dollars the coverage of it is depending on you it can get it really sheer or you can build all the way up to full coverage i don't really wear it as i guess i do wear it as a full coverage since i keep putting it on until i feel like i get the coverage that i am looking for it is very smooth um it's not like any other powder foundation that i have ever tried before because the texture of it is just really silky really really smooth like it is it is really i don't know it just it's really smooth and it's really silky it kind of glides and it almost feels like a cream when you put it on your face and you know with most baked products you can apply it wet or dry i've tried both i think they i actually prefer it more wet because it looks a little bit more natural than it does when you use it dry because you know it's a powder and you know powders always tend to look just a little bit makes you look a little ashy and not ashy but it makes you look a little flat so that's what i'm looking for powders tend to just you know go on and your face looks really flat um you get seven grams or point two the point twenty four ounces in here right over here it says it um i apply it with my real techniques buffing brush this is how i apply it when I um, wear it. I used it today. I am wearing this foundation on my face, by the way, in case I forgot to mention it, and I don't know why it just got really dark, but sorry. But yes, anyways, I use it with my Real Techniques brush. Um, using it with this brush, I feel like you get, you can build the coverage to how you want it. You can start out really sheer, and if you just keep going, it will build up to what you want it to be. This wouldn't be the brush I would use if you were going for full coverage right away if you were looking for something for full coverage right away I would try this brush it's the Sephora brush it is um, the mineral powder brush you know I use it for when you can't really see what it says I use it for when I use like my bare minerals or very Essentials foundation you know I twirl it in there which is pretty much the same thing that I would do with this I would swirl it in there and then I would just buff it in my face and using this brush you're gonna get way more full coverage i've never used this for this but next time i will actually try that but you know this will give you the full coverage that you're looking for if you're looking for just like a dusting very sheer coverage 
use this and I use this powder I use this brush when I use this powder to set my foundation which I will talk about in a second um, the longevity of this powder is pretty good I noticed that when I wear it I can wear it the whole day and I don't feel like I noticed any it's like missing or it's like oxidized or anything um, but that could be because I use a primer and I use a setting spray and setting sprays I guess are meant to help things you know last longer I never felt like I've worn it and by the end of the night I just like I had it on in my face or I could see where it left or like it um it was just gone off my face I felt like for the most part it was all there the whole day I never had really any issues with it with me having to touch it up because it just didn't look like I was wearing any foundation anymore um I would say it's good at controlling oil only be because I have combination skin combination oily skin and I don't I never noticed that my face was really oily with this but I'm not going to say that it doesn't control oil I would assume it would because it's a powder foundation and most powder foundations are really good for people with oily skin but the only reason why I feel like I don't know necessarily if it's good at controlling oil is because I use milk of magnesia for everything because I do have oily skin and I know for a fact if I didn't use milk of magnesia my face would have gotten oily at some point and I probably would have had to blot at some point I know that for a fact nothing is going to keep your face from getting oily you can just use things that can help control the oil and that's what the milk of magnesia does it does an awesome job at controlling my oil and I don't feel like I have to blot with this foundation at all and I feel like it's best suited for anybody because it's a different kind of powder it's like it does not cake I don't care how much I put that on my face it does not cake whatsoever something about it it being like I think it said it was made with like some kind of special water I should have looked it up but I didn't but it's different than most powder foundations that I've tried and I, I like it more so than I like my Berry Essentials I haven't worn that foundation in a really long time but I like it more than I like the Berry Essentials foundation when I put the Berry Essentials on my face I feel like it does just sit on my face and it gives me that flat look to my face this looks very natural to me it does not look like when I'm wearing it by itself that like I am wearing any foundation it just looks like my skin just looks really even and I like that you don't want to look like you're wearing foundation I use this foundation two ways I either wear it alone like I am today I don't have anything underneath it or I use it to set my foundation my foundation is like in my last video I you know for when I was talking about the Revlon Colorstay whipped cream I use that on my face to set my foundation because it's such a lightweight foundation I love it to me it doesn't even seem like a foundation to me it seems more like a setting powder or a translucent powder because it's very light um, which is why I choose to use it to set my foundations I used to use the the, the MAC skin finish which that kind of is what that reminds me of it reminds me a lot of that so if you are familiar with the skin finish one the, the natural that's what that reminds me a lot of um, but that to me is not really it is a foundation if you wanted it to be but it's very very sheer so it's not gonna give you that coverage if you're looking for great coverage it's more or less suited to just set your foundation but this one you can wear either way I think it's an amazing product um, I think Sephora knocked it out of the park when they made this I think it's very comparable to a more higher end foundation which to me I would kind of uh, I would kind of consider it to be a higher end foundation just because of the price you know it's not drugstore price drugstore products do not cost this much and it's not that far off from a MAC product so I don't know where you want to put it in there I would show you a swatch of it but I mean because of how smooth it is it's not even going to show up it's just going to go like right into my skin it's like it's just not even there I think it's a really great product I think if you're looking for a nice powder foundation and you're not looking for something that's going to make your face feel really cakey I feel like if you're looking for something that's going to let your face breathe because I feel like my face breathes I don't feel like I don't feel like a lot of times when I wear like powder foundations I feel like you can tell that I'm wearing you could tell I've got something on my face and I feel like when I wear this you can't tell. I would definitely recommend this product to anybody like I said that's looking for uh, a, a, um, a powder foundation something that's not really heavy and I swear it works for you can wear it how, for the dry skin to oily skin I feel like it would work either way because it's not very 
I feel like when I put it on my face, it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines, or I don't really have fine lines, but it doesn't settle into like my pores or anything. I think it just looks really nice. And I think, you know, anybody could wear this and be okay with it. And you can, um, it's very buildable coverage. It's very smooth. And like I said, when you put it on, it kind of has like a cream like consistency to it it's very different like and I think it's a really good foundation and it would definitely be something that I would repurchase again it would definitely be something that I would recommend to somebody who's out looking for a powder foundation or just something that they could use to set their foundation with because I like I said wear it both ways it could just be something that you could have in your collection just for days that you don't want to put do a whole face which that's usually how I wear it when I don't want to like put on a liquid and I'm just one in a rush I'll put it on that way but more often than not I do use it as a setting f powder just because it's very finely milled and I feel like it's just it's gonna give me a little bit more coverage without making my face look cakey so I think I pretty much covered everything there is about this review I wasn't trying to go too too long and get too long-winded because I definitely can I can talk and talk and talk so um yeah that is my review if I had to give it by a scale of 1 to 10 I would give it a 10 actually which is really surprising because I don't have any problems with this foundation at all I think it does everything that I like for it to do I have no problems with it when I wear it 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 does an amazing job it stands up I look good I feel good when I wear it so to me yeah I would give it a 10 so um that's it thanks for watching bye bye